Hello, and welcome to I Want to Believe You. Today we are testing out our Ouija board for the very first time. We are going to try and communicate with Helen, the haunted doll. So sit back, try and relax, and enjoy the show. Whilst editing, when lighting the candles, we noticed a tapping noise which sounded as if it came from the camera lens. When watching the clip, to our amazement, we saw what appears to be a ghostly finger tapping on the lens. This clip we are about to show you left us shocked. Is this a ghost warning us about the board? Or is there a natural explanation for this? So this is our very first time ever using a Ouija board. We've researched it and we're skeptical, but we're playing it safe. Ready? Yeah. Alright. Barely touching it. Okay, that's the rules, right? Do we gotta s s turn it? I think we have to. Alright, so we'll do it twice. This is the thing, there's so many different rules, so I think we just circle it twice. Did they mention counterclockwise or clockwise? No. So which way do you want to go? My mind is telling me this way. Okay. All right. <laughs> cool. Now we sit here. All right. And I guess we ask questions. questions. Is anybody here with us right now? We read that it can take some time to get a response from the board. So we've sped up the following footage of us patiently waiting for a response. Is there anybody here with us right now? If not anybody, is there anything that would like to communicate with us? At this point, we were questioning if it was going to work. We could feel our own fingers slightly moving the planchette unintentionally. But we continued to ask questions, hoping for a legitimate response. We were waiting for the planchette to move to the yes, then wondered if it could be spelling something instead. As you can see so far, the letters aren't really making any sense. If you're here in the room with us, can you give us a yes? The board stayed almost completely still for a while. We thought maybe it could have been a weaker spirit that was moving very slowly towards the yes. However, we assumed there was nothing here willing to speak with us just yet. We weren't about to give up. Let's just go ahead and put it back in the middle. Let's start again. So, experiment one is a no-go. Now, if this is one of those things where you have to be a believer for it to work, then immediately it's just like throw it in the trash. Because um, you can't, it's a, it's, it's like a, almost like a fallacy in a way to be like, you must believe in order for it to work. If there is anything or anyone here that would like to speak with us, could you slide this over to yes for us, please? If there is anyone here, could you just give us your name? We then started to feel the planchette becoming more lively. However, as you can see, the letters weren't making a lot of sense. We thought maybe SE could be initials, or were we clutching at straws? How old are you? We still weren't getting any results. Perhaps it was our location, or maybe the spirits weren't willing to communicate. Helen, are you here with us? We finally got a response. The planchette had moved towards the yes. 
Could this be Helen trying to communicate with us? Or was it our subconscious moving the planchette? How old are you, Helen? What was your dog's name? I couldn't remember the dog's name. However, Becky could. So perhaps we had a little subconscious movement during this part. The dog's name was Brian. After the planchette landed on B, I closed my eyes to remove any potential subconscious movements. When it moved over to the R, we began to think that maybe Helen was trying to communicate. After the first couple of attempts and getting little to no response, we decided to try another approach. We blindfolded ourselves to remove any subconscious bias. We rotated the board while blindfolded. This way, we had no idea where the letters were placed. And if we were to get a response, then we would know it was 100% genuine. Okay, we're gonna start this again. Is there anybody here with us right now that would like to communicate? What is your name? Whilst being blindfolded, we noticed the planchette felt more active. We had a weird sensation of feeling more connected to the board. The planchette almost appeared to be pointing towards the goodbye. After watching back the footage, we saw it hover over 3, 4, and 3, which we thought could potentially mean 10. This is what Helen said her age was during the spirit box session with her. Or are we just clutching at straws again? Just to prove we were blindfolded, we ended up off the board and were none the wiser for a good five minutes. There are sometimes flaws in these experiments. Alright, are you still here with us? If you are here with us, could you give us a name? If you have a message for us, feel free to let us know now. Are you happy to talk to us? Would you rather that we didn't bother you? If there's a message that you want to tell us, or if there's a message you want to communicate to someone else, um, please give us that message. Would 
We're trying to communicate with Helen. Is Helen here with us? Feel free to give us some sort of message. I can feel it. My finger, my pointer finger, literally is not on it anymore. Well, same. Yours is not. My middle finger is on it. My pointer finger has left it. Mine too. Yeah, oh, let's move back again. What the fuck? Did you do that? No, I didn't do that. Maybe. Are you fucking serious? I'm dead serious. It's moving, I swear. It's moving strong now. Goodbye. Should we stop? They say goodbye. That's spooky as fuck. <laughs> that is so spooky. Well, if it said goodbye, maybe we should. Do you think we should? I don't want to. If it said goodbye, I don't want to. If it is real, I don't want to be. We didn't say goodbye, though. No. Should we say goodbye? We didn't say goodbye. Do you want to say goodbye? We should. We should. We should ask it if there's anything else it wants to tell us. Tell us now. If not, and we're about to end the session. We're gonna end the session. Again, we are about to stop this. We're about to say goodbye. Um, we did see that the planchette landed on goodbye during one of the previous sessions. If that was you saying goodbye, can you let us know now? Fall off. Again. Yeah, it's lit. <laughs> Said goodbye again. So let's just do say goodbye to it real quick. And uh, we'll check out what we have. So that was our first experience using the Ouija board. Did we capture any compelling evidence of the paranormal? So to sum up our first set of results, we did go into this with a completely open mind. We didn't feel we really got any paranormal evidence from the board. The only part we can't really explain was the planchette spinning on its own towards the end as it said goodbye to us. We did, however, find the tapping at the star extremely paranormal and unexplainable. What do you think? If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you want some fancy attire, you can wear as a t-shirt or as a blindfold for paranormal investigations. Head on over to our merch store in the description. And if you have any experiences that you'd like to submit, along with any picture or video evidence, feel free to submit them to want the number 2 believe you at gmail.com or you can contact us on Facebook via comment or message. Because we're out to discover the truth about the paranormal. I want to believe you. Do you? I want to believe you. Do you?